back to my channel. I am Jules Juliet. Thank you so much for watching. Today, you guys, I have another haul going on. I did some online shopping. I know, I know. You guys, there's going to be a link up here to check out my latest video before this one. Go ahead and check it out. It's how to do your eyelashes because I tried something new. I'm kind of liking it, but not really. But yes, it's it's a new whole story. This one with pineapple juice is so freaking amazing, but it's also really good with just coconut. It's just like coconut on top of coconut beautiful I'm a little bit nervous because I did a lot of I did a huge purchase but I'm actually really glad that Ulta shipped it really really freaking fast which is like amazing it literally came in like in three days which is like mind-blowing because it usually takes about a week and a half and the best part is that all of this that I got was on sale and I had a beautiful 20% off so we love deals one we I don't really like paying full prices, but I mean, I do it if I really, really love the product. I don't mind paying for what it's worth. But I'm, I got a lot of things on sale, which I'm really satisfied. So let's get started with this baby because it's going to be a very, very long video. So stay tuned, you guys. Don't forget, again, hit that subscribe button, you guys. We've already hit 1,000. Our next goal is 1,500. And um, yeah, let's get on with this video. For starters, the box is really small, surprisingly how much product is in here. Um, usually the box would always be a lot more larger, but I'm pretty shocked. Now, a few things that I bought, I didn't even notice that I bought them until like I was checking the list afterwards because I there's... Let's be honest. When you, there's some things on sale at Ulta, things just go flying completely. So I was like, you know what? I don't want to lose some of the products. So whatever was in my cart, I just... Bam. Okay. So let's get started with some few things that I really, really wanted to try and whatever's here. And yeah, you guys, welcome to um, Josie. Josie has been with me for a while. She is very big. <laughs> and she don't want to go away. I do like using this brand right over here to do my eyebrows. And they were on sale, but this one's for face and bikini. So I'm pretty intrigued to try them out. They are 34 wax strips, three different sizes. So usually... I always get the other ones, but I didn't know that there was also one for bikini, so yeah. Maybe it's just a new way of doing it. But I got wax strips. Then we went ahead and grabbed on this baby right over here. This one is the Juvius. Juvius? Juvius Palette Eyeshadow one. And I think this one was their coral one. It's 12 eyeshadows, so I can't wait to open this baby right over here. Moving on to another Juvius Palette that I ended up getting. This one I believe is their nudes, and I was like, what? I didn't, oh, the box came damaged. I just love how they have so much dedication onto their packaging. Like, look at this amazing logo. Like, it's just so freaking beautiful. Can't wait to try that out. And then I went ahead and gave myself another one of these because honestly, like, this is actually a good deal. It's half off on the sponges, and you can never have enough sponges, especially when the quality is really good. So I went ahead and bought myself another trio. Ooh, we got another Juvia's palette, and this one is their Violet Collection. Then I went ahead and got their foundation because my friend actually bought it, and she really did like it. The only thing that I noticed is that I don't really know if I got the accurate shade or not, so we got to see for that. I don't really like returning foundation either because once I use it, you know, there's no way of you returning foundation. It's just not okay at all. Moving on to another brand that I really love and I can't believe that it was actually on sale. It's Pixie, you guys. I went ahead and I got the Retinol Jasmine Lotion Pixie. Um, I believe Jackie Ines love this one as well as... Oh, I can't think about it, but I ended up getting this one because I saw it and I screenshot it. Oh, I love Sari also has this one as well as this one right over here, which is the Overnight Retinol Oil. And I heard that Retinol is really good for your pores. And since I have really large pores, I want to see if it like minimizes or cleans it out. It just, just makes it look smaller. You know, the box did came a little bit damaged, but that's okay. Then I went ahead and I got this one right over here, which is a night cream from OK. It's a rejuvenating night cream for overnight hydration. It is lavender oil shea butter. I never heard about this brand, but I'm assuming it's a Korean brand. And yeah, I don't know. I was really intrigued about it. So I ended up getting that one. OMG. I didn't have this highlighter, so I went ahead and get it. And it's from, there you go. It's their Cleo highlighter, which I'm assuming hopefully it's a lot lighter foundation because I absolutely love the one that I ended up purchasing but it is a little bit darker so I went a shade lighter um and hopefully this one is it then I went ahead and got the ABH P 
peeling one at 10 minutes exfoliating one I'm hoping this is the right one that I ended up getting um because I know that I ended up buying one from Revolution Skincare, which wasn't the accurate one. This little one, this was actually like super, super on sale. And I know this is because of the way that it was. Then I went ahead and I grabbed the Derma Blend Camel Smooth in the medium foundation. It has SPF, so I was like, bam! You know, I've been trying to get an SPF foundation, so I'm pretty hyped to try this one on. There is another, oh, I actually got their powder. This one is the I Am Magic Setting Powder. And I believe this one is in the color translucent. Oh, what's well, white sand and the stick foundation. She's a lot more darker than what I expected. So this one I'm definitely not even gonna try it. I'm gonna go ahead and exchange that one. Then moving on. This is the only thing that sucks about buying foundation online is because it kind of doesn't look the same. See, then I ended up getting this nude beige, and it's like this one just might be way too light. And this one is a cover girl. Uh, last all day stay fabulous but this one is way too light and this one's like way too dark you see this so i'm gonna go ahead and most likely exchange them hopefully it is the purple rain glow serum facial booster Busta. and it's from the brand truly i actually do love their glass skin one their um the pink one i really do like their product so i'm actually really stoked to try this one out this was actually one of the pricier ones and i really do love it like just their bottling and their quality in here. It's just, I can't wait. I'm excited to try that one also. So, again, retinol, I heard, is really good for your pores. So, I went ahead and got the retinol toner as well as the vitamin C toner because it brightens up your skin. Now, for some reason, vitamin C is a lot stronger sometimes on my skin and it starts making me, like, break out a lot. So, I know that I'm going to use that one a lot less than the other ones, but still, I definitely wanted to try it out. Last but not least, I got this one right over here. Now, I've heard a lot of good reviews about it. Now, I'm kind of bummed out because the foundation really doesn't look like what I was looking for. So, this one doesn't come with much color options. It's only 14 shades. And according to the picture, I mean, this one looks way darker than the picture. The picture looks a lot more yellow onto it than this one does. And um, that's the thing that sucks about it is because on the picture, this is actually like my perfect shade than compared to what it actually looks like. So when shopping online with foundations, you guys, it's always like a hit or miss. Um, I wish that the way that the foundation looks on the phone should be the way that it comes out when you purchase it. Same thing goes with this one. Look at this. This was way more pinker than what is on the screen. And it's like... I don't know. It's kind of like bummed out. I'm very bummed out. Last but not least. Oh yeah, they do not look nothing alike. Look at this. So it's just, it kind of sucks because you're expecting one color and you get another one. So just be careful when you're buying Ulta's foundation ranges. It looks like they're not as accurate. So if you have a foundation that looks like your skin may match, um, and you already have it, definitely just select it, look online, which is like the closest dope, dupe, dupe, dupe to it, and then get it because, um, none of these are what I, what I was expecting. None of them. And I don't even have my yellow on yet. Look, it's on the true tone color. So, Ulta, now I'm really scared about the other foundations. But I'm pretty excited to try out this product. You guys, let me know in the comments down below what would you guys want me to try out. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'm pretty... I'm freaking out of how much product I have. I love you guys and I'll see you in my next one.